Another of nature's master architects are weaver birds, which build their nests by sewing blades of grass to one another. In order to build a nest, a weaver bird first forms a triangular framework. Then it covers the outside of this frame by tying three different kinds of knots. Each nest has a sound frame, walls, and an entrance. The first step in the construction of the nest is the tying of a long, thin blade of grass to a thin branch. But that is by no means easy. The weaver bird has a real struggle to tie just one knot. It is very important for this first knot to be in the correct form. Otherwise, there will be no point in continuing with the construction of the rest of the nest. Because if the first knot is wrong, then the rest of the nest will all be wrong too, as they are all based on the first one. The knots multiply over time and take on the form of a hoop. The bird has to carefully calculate the dimension of the hoop it forms. The hoop has to be big enough for itself to enter, but small enough to keep other larger birds out. The bird gets the ideal size for the hoop right at once and every time. After weaving the foundation hoop around it in this manner, it begins to build the roof space. The technique weaver birds use to build their nests is the same as that used by human weavers. They weave the blades of grass by passing them under and over each other. They employ this technique with great patience and eventually construct perfect nests. When one looks at the trees weaver birds live in, they look like giant cities made of hundreds of houses, not just a single one. Every single weaver bird has built a house of the same construction obeying the same power. Another creature reminiscent of the honeybee with its architectural skill is the paper wasp. This species of wasp chews pieces of wood and uses them to produce cellulose in other words, paper. Then it uses this paper to build itself a round nest. It makes hexagonal combs, just like the honeybees, from the paper which it sticks to the inside of the roof. It places an egg into each hexagon on the roof. Some three weeks later, lava emerge from these eggs. These lava demonstrate a surprising intelligence and close up the mouths of the cone. In this way, they avoid falling down under their own weight after a few more weeks of growth, they emerge from their cells as adult wasps. The young wasps lose no time in throwing themselves into life. Every task they have to perform is inspired in them by their creator, God. The young enlarge the construction which their mothers began. At the end, a rather large colony emerges. The wasp's nest is now a multi-storied apartment block.
every wasp born here will abide by the letter to the inspiration given to it. These small pots you see belong to another species of wild bee. This wild bee makes a sticky mud by mixing its saliva with moist soil. It makes exceedingly regular pots by using the mud it makes. It gives form to the mud by continually turning it around, the same technique used by human beings to make pots. When the pot is finished, it doesn't neglect to add a lid. When everything is ready, the bee turns its rear towards the mouth of the pot and leaves an egg inside. After adding some food materials to the pot, it seals the mouth up and flies off. The larva which hatches from the egg will later break the pot and emerge and start a life of its own. These are pots broken by the young and then abandoned. The young which emerge start to build perfect pots, just like their mothers did and with no training. This wonderful craft they possess was inspired in them by God, their creator. <laughs>